My partner in this project, Bob Nato, and I are excited to be here. We feel blessed to have the opportunity to build a hotel on this exceptional site, and I do mean exceptional. A lot of important people in the community have put their faith in us and have given us their unwavering support to make this project happen. We would not be here today had they not stuck with us over the last several years, and we do not take this faith lightly. We're going to work really hard to make sure this trust is rewarded by building one of the most beautiful hotels in the Northwest right here in this location behind me. My name is Tom Drumheller, as Bob said. I grew up in Walla Walla. I love this country and feel at home here. I've always wanted to come back and build something that I and the community can be proud of. As I've gotten older, I've realized now how short life is and that there are some things that are just the most important in life. Faith, family, health, and friends are at the top. But along with this is what are you doing with your life? If you're going to continue working, you might as well only work on projects that you're going to be proud of. And this hotel is just that. It has been my favorite project these last couple of years, more than couple actually. So it's exciting, and I do mean exciting, to be here today. So finally, what are we building here? I think we're building a beautiful hotel where people will come and feel at home after a hard day's work or a long day of wine tasting. There will be lots of social areas to meet other guests and to just enjoy a good glass of wine. Sitting around a fire pit or the fireplace out by the pool or in the big jacuzzi next to the fireplace or even on the deck in their room or in the dining room or in the library, there's going to be lots of places to socialize or just read a book. It will not be trendy and hence in a few years it will not be out of style. It will age gracefully and get better. Timeless is a word that we strive for. In this hotel, I think Gabrielle feels we're going to raise the bar with our decor and provide something that's very tasteful, but not your grandfather's Four Seasons. Instead, it will be very comfortable, be warm and cozy, but still have a sense of whimsy to it. Our goal is to make it a very fun hotel to stay at, and to be fun, we have to hire great people. We're going to look for happy people who enjoy serving other people. All of you could get a job with us. <laughs> Even if we build the most beautiful hotel architecturally, if we do not have the right people running the hotel, it will be just another hotel. We want this one to be special, and we're going to make sure we find the right people who enjoy life and will be proud of working there. We're in the middle of wine country, and that's what this hotel is going to be catering to. Each of the 82 guest rooms is going to be named after a local winery, who we are hoping will do a wine social hour once or twice a year for our guests. We will do our best to bring others to the area that may not have normally chosen to come here. We hope to use our existing database from our other properties to expose them to the Tri-Cities and get them to become loyal fans, and we will create some fun promotions to do that. Wendy, my manager over here at the Ocean Lodge, has established a great relationship with the Nike Tiger Woods Group, and we're hoping to convince them to come up and give this hotel a try. Sometimes hotels forget about the basics. What are we really providing? Is a good night's sleep in a quiet room that's comfortable with outlets you can easily reach and not have to move furniture to find, that has a good service and really cares. That's what we're going to work hard to make this happen. Things like lighting, warm 2700 Kelvin degrees where people look good when they look in the mirror in the morning. <laughs> not a harsh white light, no fluorescent lights any place, not even in the kitchen. We will have a guest rooms with soaking tubs and oversized showers, heating, heated floors in the suites bathrooms, decks you can sit on and look at the river, vaulted ceilings on the fourth floor, some different styles of rooms and furniture. A lobby living room with a real wood burning fireplace. Everybody tries to talk me out of it, but we always do it, and then smoke goes all over, but it's fun. <laughs> Two spa treatment rooms, outdoor pool with a large social jacuzzi, outdoor fireplace to sit around, a fire pit off the lobby to sit around, Fireplaces in the guest room, a library area tucked in with a fireplace, a beautiful dining room for an upscale continental breakfast, personalized friendly service, a wine tasting room and wine socials, and an occasional winemaker's dinner where we'll bring in guest chefs from Portland, Seattle, or other hot culinary spots. We really want this hotel to feel like a neat home with lots of places besides your guest room to go to. We will not build a boring hotel. It won't be boring. It will be fun, tasteful with a sprinkle of whimsy. Finally, I would like to thank Anthony's, Mike Tebbett, and Steve Valdez for putting up with me. I covered their tables with paperwork and blueprints too many times, taking up restaurant valuable revenue producing booths for too long a time. They never once complained or tried to kick me out. Instead, they provided wonderful service and impressed everyone I talked to. I look forward to working with both of you and sending our guests your way, and that will make my partner Patrick happy too since we're not doing our own restaurant. We also look forward to working closely with the Merritt Courtyard and the Town Place Suites next to us. I think about what my old boss, Steve Martin, told me when I was in Cannon Beach. He said, 
Our competition isn't the hotel next door, it's Disneyland. We need to work together to promote Cannon Beach so we all do well, and that is what we'd like to do here, to work closely together to bring more people to our area and get them coming back so that we all do well together. We want to be a good neighbor and have fun and enjoy our business together. This is a great location with a lot to offer. We will help get more people to discover it. That's our goal. My final story. I'd like to leave you with a story that happened several years ago at our Ocean Lodge. Nobody remembers this. We had a young lady who went up and down the Oregon coast looking for a special place to stay with her family, and she was physically inspecting every hotel she was looking at. After many days of going up and down, she decided on us. Her husband was a Black Hawk helicopter pilot in the military flying in Afghanistan, and he had a week of leave where he was coming home to spend some time with his young family. After looking at our many hotels, she chose the Ocean Lodge, and I think Wendy was a big part of why she chose that. Why? I remember seeing them up in the library. The children were playing with some games, and she was with her husband, and they were really enjoying their time together. It could have been their last moments together if something happened to him when he went back to his tour of duty. Fortunately, we know he made it back safely. That made us feel good to know that we had created a special place that allowed a young family to have a special time in their life when they really needed it. That's what we're going to do here is to create a hotel that will be a great place for people to gather for all occasions, whether it be business, romance, or just for fun, to relax and take time to enjoy life in this outstanding location. Thank you for taking the time to be here today, 100% done. Thank you. <laughs>